Thank you very much for staying with us this morning. We begin the broadcast with big news that we're tracking as far as Maldives is concerned. In fact, after Maldives minister's remarks, the Maldives Association of Tourism Industry strongly condemns the derogatory comments made by a few deputy ministers directed towards the Prime Minister of India. The National Hotels and Guest Houses Association of Maldives also condemned. It said, and I quote, we are a nation grateful for the enduring friendship between Maldivians and Indians, which has been instrumental in reviving our tourism sector with India, consistently ranking among the top source markets for several years. NHGAM believes that any development in the Indian Ocean will contribute to shared growth and enhance the enduring friendship between Maldivians and Indians. So that's the significant development that's coming in. Let me take that across to my colleague Shinjoy joining me this morning. Shinjoy, very good morning. Of course, this is uh, clearly in a sense if you do see damage control as well. But as far as the statement is concerned, they're also recognizing how Indians have contributed to the tourism industry in Maldives. How do you really read into this now? Well, very clearly, Marty, which is... Uh this uh, tourism association recognizes the fact that there mm. has been so much, uh, so much uh, tourism out of India, and they have benefited from Indians uh, going there as tourists, from Indians going there to make films and do lots of other things. Supposing someone has in Bollywood wants to make a film, he goes to the Maldives. Someone from the hoteling in, uh, hotel industry. Right go and make uh, uh, a conference there, he goes to the Maldives. Now, as a result, uh, the Mar Marty has got a lot of business out of India. Apart from uh, strategic reasons, it's also economic reasons. And once that is the so, you realize that Prime Minister Modi is, will be in Lakshwadeep, which is really a message to a lot of Indians. Look here. We have the Lakshwadeep, we have the Andaman Islands. If you want to do something there, all we need to do is develop these islands. Now, if that is so, then very clearly there is an opportunity for people in the Andamans, people in, the, in Lakshwadeep, and the people who will lose out are people in the Maldives. That's a clear message. Marty realizes this, which is why there is this statement. Right. Absolutely, Shinjo. I appreciate you joining us in the broadcast with all those inputs and also helping our viewers better understand the significance of this statement that's coming in. Um, we leave the conversation at that for the moment, but viewers, let's also listen into the reaction coming from former Defence Minister of Maldives, Maria Emma Didi, who has hailed India for always coming to Maldives' rescue. India has been our 911 call. Uh, whenever we need it, we give a call and you all come to our rescue. So that kind of friend, you know, when you see such disparaging remarks about friends like this, it is sad for everyone concerned. We are a small country who are friends with all, but we cannot deny that we share borders with India, we share many, uh, similar security concerns. Uh, uh, India has always helped us. They have been helping us even in the defense sector with capacity building, providing us with equipment, trying to make us more self-sufficient. 